Now, here's our data on the, um, the laptop. Um, we have 17 laptops, um, and for each laptop, we have information on the price and on the other features, for example, weight, um, the, the RAM, the processor type, and the screen resolution, the sizes. Um, so these will be all together, we will call it say these are the performance metrics. So our goal here is um, try to find out uh, based upon these features or the performance metrics of these laptops and try to find out which one or which ones are the best uh, laptops. Uh, intuitively, you can say, you know, if you wanted to uh, find out the, the one that, you know, is the lightest, you know, uh, laptop, then you're most likely going to say um, pick the one with the least amount of weight. However, you know, different people um, have different preferences in terms of the price and, and all these different type of features. Um, so let's say you know let you know let's use some kind of um, data analysis tool uh, to help us to make a decision in selecting you know which laptops are the are the best. So that that's sort of an our, um, objective here. Um, so most likely you know people have rendered regression you know. Um, so you might want to try the regression. So how do you how do we use the regression here? So in, in here, um, basically the regression is a relationship between a dependent variable and a bunch of independent variables. You try to figure out a, a linear you know, relationship in there. Um, but when you look at uh, this particular data set, and you notice that you, you know most of the laptops have the same screen resolution and sizes. So in this case, you can you can actually set these two features aside. At the moment, let's say uh, we're not going to consider that. And the processor type, uh, this is, I think, a, a very important feature, actually, um, in, the, in the laptop. The, but the problem uh, as of now is that um, the information displayed are not numeric. It's not like the weight, you know, is displayed in pawn and you can do some data analysis. Um, the information on the processor type is not numerical. So you will have to... Uh, you figure out a way how, how do you maybe, let's say, rank these processes. For example, you may rank an i7 higher than i5 or i3. Um, but we don't have that ranking um, system available to us as of now, at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set aside this particular feature aside. Okay, And you can go back, and you know, once you select, uh, let's say, the best or the, the best, you know, laptops, um, you can go back and then take a look at the processor type. So you, this can be a multi-stage uh, analysis. So let's say for the moment we're only going to uh, focus on the price, the weight, the average battery drive, the, uh, the RAM, the HDD, and the regression analysis. So where is the regression analysis tool? Um, it's under the data tab in Excel. So if you click uh, data, you should see a data analysis. Now if this is the first time that you should try to use the tools that's available uh, in the data analysis, uh, most likely you're not going to see the data analysis under the data tab. Um, you, but you can find them by using the following steps. First, you click on the file, and this brings up this uh, window, and in there uh, you are going to find out the options. So you click Options, and then you have this you know, Excel options in there. Um, you should see add-ins because the data analysis is an add-in. Okay, so you click add-in, and then at the very bottom of this uh, window, you can see manage Excel add-ins. You click go, and you can see um, the analysis, you know, tool package. Because I already had that have this installed, that's why this box is checked. If you don't see that under the data tab. This box is definitely not checked, so you can check um, the box, and you click OK, and then you can see the data analysis. Um, so, and the next step, what I'm going to do is I actually am going to uh, take, you know, part of the data uh, like this, um, and copy it into a different sheet called um, regression here. Okay, this is the sheet I'm going to use on regression. So. You click data analysis, and there are you know a number of uh, functions that's available. It is the regression that you want to use. So you select regression, and you click OK. Now you need to enter a um, 
a number of options in there. The first option is the Y range. What is Y? In regression, the Y is the dependent variable. So if you can sort of imagine a regression line, in this case, the line would be um, something like, um, if you have the book, you can refer to the book. Price is equal to beta, which is the constant or a coefficient that when you need to uh, estimate. Beta times uh, beta plus beta 1 times weight plus beta 2 times battery plus beta 3. 3 times RAM plus beta 4 times HDD. So the beta, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta, you know, beta 4, that, that's something you need to estimate. So in our case, the, the Y range is the price. So you um, select the price. And input range um, are the independent variables in our linear regression. Um, now, you may note that when I select the data, I also select the, the labels um, within the data. So that's why I need to check labels. And now it's the output option. Where do you want to put the results? You can put in a, a different sheet. In my case, I'm going to um, put it in this cell, the first one, as you can see, um, the first one. Okay. And you click OK. And now you have the results in there. Okay, so remember the uh, the beta, you know, beta one, beta two, beta three, beta four. These are the uh, the coefficient you just got. But the first, there's a number of things that you need to check um, after you get the results uh, from the regression. Um, the first thing that you check is the R square or the adjusted R square. Uh, you want to have a big R square or the adjusted R square. Now, in our case. Um, the R squared is, is way too small. The, the adjusted R squared is only about 0 0.08. That's very, very small. Um, you want, you know, ideally to have something at least maybe 80, 85 percent, you know, uh, above. Um, so because of that, I, I cannot use the, uh, the results um, in this particular ROM. So I'm going to try a different ROM. The only thing that I can try at this point is um, you know, sort of go back in here and there's this option, the constant is zero. So remember in the first ROM, um, I said, you know, you have a constant of beta. You know, the, the price is equal to beta plus beta one times weight and, and et cetera. Um, by checking this box, um, I'm forcing that beta um, equals to zero. And let's see, you know, what will happen if I do that. So I'm going to put the result in here. And okay, now let's take a look at the, um, the results. Now, you see a huge improvement in terms of the uh, the R square and adjust the R square. Now, if you're not sure, you know, what is this R square and adjust the R square, my suggestion to you is, um, you know, take a look at some of the basic um, linear regression materials. I'm trying to get a basic understanding, you know, what, what the regression does. So this is okay. I mean, you know, 77% or 87% um, is not that high, but it's much better than the previous one. However, we also need to check the other thing. It's called a p-value, for example. Uh, we want the results to be significant. I mean, says, you know, we, we should be confident that, you know, these are the coefficients that, that we're going to use. But in this case, unfortunately, uh, the p-values are huge. Um, usually you usually get, you know, 0 0.001 or something. It's, it's very small, but in this case, it's, it's very, uh, very big. Um, what does this say? This simply says we cannot use the regression in this particular data set. There can be a number of reasons um, for that. Um, it could be our data set is too small. You remember we only have about 17 um, Laptops and uh, only have you know one, two, three, four, five, five, um, five measures in there. So maybe it's the data set is too small. Uh, remember, using regression, you do have um, this uh, con you know, condition that you, you you have to have a certain size of the um, the sample. So maybe the, the sample is too small, or maybe there is no relationship, no linear relationship between the price and the weight and battery and RAM and HDD. Or maybe there is a relationship, but the relationship is not linear. Remember, we have just run a 
uh, linear regression. So, you know, this is simply to demonstrate that you can try regression and sometimes it works, um, uh, sometimes it may not. So in, in this particular case, uh, we cannot use regression and we have to use um, a different method or a different model um, try to help us to figure out you know which laptop is the best or which laptops are the best given the uh, the performance metrics that you uh, we have here 